Right, time for some news from Egon. Uh, it's so much is happening. Right, so the 48 volt hub, which will greatly simplify the installation of 48 volt equipment in 4x4s, caravans, camper trailers, etc. It's now that the, the four prototypes are about to come off the production line. Those four prototypes will be fitted to our high ace van, the one that you've been watching on the channel. The second one will be going to Queensland to be fitted into the high ace van that is currently um, part of the development project with Headspace campers. We're also going to be fitting one to a V8. I think it's going to be a troop carrier because the alternator is we have alternators uh, for both the 2.8 and the Toyota V8. More vehicles are in the pipeline, but these are the two that we're using to test. And there'll be more testing, of course, after that uh, with a Prado, also 2.8, that's happening here in Western Australia. So lots of testing, and now all of these vehicles have one thing in common. They are going to be used and tested and tested, and we're, we're obsessed with this testing ideas because we, we know how much bad press 48 volt has ha had, and we know why. We know exactly why it's had that bad press. And because the systems used we're not going down that route. We decided not to go down that route a long time ago. It's very different. And that's why I say when I say it's unique, it is unique. The DC hub is being developed specifically for fleet. Now, fleet and mining in Australia is very is quite peculiar in that the date, the demands they have. For example, they have a system where if you don't pull up the handbrake, there will be, and rather, if you open the door and you haven't pulled up the handbrake, there will be an alarm. And if you close the, hand, the, the, the door, that alarm doesn't stop just because you've closed the door. You have to pull up the handbrake. These are idiosyncrasies of the safety demands of Australian mining companies. The problem with that is that when companies building fleet vehicles for Australian mines, they spend a lot of time wiring up these systems. That's just one of many systems that they require for their fleets. We are building and we are in very close to, per, into, again, test production versions, versions for testing, uh, for the what will be called the Egon DC Hub fleet. We'll expect that again towards the end of the year for that to be in production. Again, testing, testing. We're working very closely with a company in Australia that regularly delivers vehicles to big, you know, the mining giants. And they are helping us solve their problem. Very, very exciting. The other project that is a little bit further on is the uh, uh, a smaller version of the DC hub. Now, we see from market research and in, we get so much input about our products. Being small, we can change them quickly, update them, and, and that's why they're working. It's one of the reasons why they're working so well. But one of the things is that I want to fit into a, into a smaller vehicle, an SUV. The this hub is a bit big. It's, a, it's just a little bit big to, to fit. And the way we've done the bracket, of course, allows for cables so, and you can put it up. And there, there are lots of attributes in the design that allow you to fit it in small spaces. But sometimes the space is just too small. So that is in development now. And the next thing I'll probably show you on the next time I do an Egon News will be a revised DC Hub Dual. Now, my vehicle, my Troopy, had one of the prototypes. It works absolutely faultlessly. We sent them out to, we've sold now, I don't know what the numbers are, it's probably 100 or so. Not a single comeback, not one. All of the people coming in and saying, yeah, even so, We've made a few designs and we know they're going to improve the product, make it even more heavy duty because the people buying the Dual, 
they're tending to go more heavy duty in their application. The other thing is that um, South Africa and Europe both have you or you guys there living there. You have your own uh, distributors. Shipping around the world is a challenge, and I know people going onto the website and and seeing the, the the cost of shipping to their country in there. Oh, that's ouch. OK, so we are going to bear the brunt of a lot of those costs. We have actually made shipping uh, anywhere in Australia free and uh, anywhere in the world, 10 bucks, 10, 10 dollars Australian. And we'll carry the rest of those costs because we want to get these these products out into the hands. But if you're in Australia and if you're in Europe, go into the, the description on this video and you'll see links to websites and contacts in those areas. You can buy directly and save even more on uh, shipping costs and you can get them, of course, much, much faster. Lots of really cool things happening at Egon. Thank you for watching.